Aloha ducklings and welcome to Tashi's Treats. I'm Tube Natashi and today we are making guacamole. Now if you joined me before you watched me prepare my delicious homemade pico de gallo otherwise known as salsa fresca and now I'm going to show you how to take a little bit of that and make a delicious guacamole. So I start out as all good guacamole start out with an avocado. You're gonna take your avocado, split it in half, grab out your little nut, don't throw away your nut. Your nut's very important to this process that we're getting to do here. Now I still have some of my drippings left over from my uh, salsa making and I'm going to just give this a little wipe down but not too much because I kind of want that jalapeno and uh, cilantro mixture in the bottom there to get into this just to kind of make it extra delicious and special. Now I'm going to take my spoon and pop that out. And I'm going to take this spoon and pop this out. Whoops. Get rid of those. Won't be needing them. Then what I'm going to do is give these a few squishes around. In my mocha hete. Then I'm going to add some of my delicious salsa into my avocado. And I'm going to just squish this all around together in my mocha hete like this. Now, if you like yours to be super avocado y, add an extra avocado. If you like it to be super salsa-y, add an extra spoonful of uh, salsa. You make it to the way you like it to be. I'm not there eating in your kitchen. You're eating in your kitchen and you need to make it the way you like it. So give it a little taste as you're making it. Now like I said before, if you don't have a mocha jete, and most people in America don't, um, you can go ahead and put this in a separate bowl and squish that avocado up with your hands and then squish in the salsa and do this all with your hands. I like to do it this way because I like the tradition and I like the meditation of doing it in this. I like the process. It feels good to me. And you can see that that's not actually taking very long at all. Now, just for the sake of argument, I am going to stick my hand in here and give it a few squishes just to make sure that it's actually the way that I like it. Don't be afraid to get your hands in your food, folks. Now, to top off our guacamole, we're gonna go ahead and put this nut right there in the center of it. Oh my God, almost perfect. It needs a tiny bit of salt. So, let me go ahead and take the clean hand. Oh yep, it's clean still. And let's give that a little bit of love. Woo! We're going to pull the nut and stir it back up again with my hand. Making sure all of those avocado bits are blended. Put the nut back in. Oh. Oh my God. Ugh, you guys, this is delicious. You're going to have to make this recipe, my ducklings. I hope that you enjoyed today's Tashi's treats. This is Tashi's guacamole. This has been Tashi Streets, and I'm Tu Dintashi. Be a blessing, be blessed, and come back safely to me.